What's up everyone? Welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John and it's time for another installment of my weekly countdown series, Seven on Sunday. World Mental Health Day was October 10th and in light of that, I want to talk about seven songs that openly discuss mental health whether it be direct, on the nose, talking about a singer or a band or an artist's struggle with their own mental health, depression, anxiety, self-harm, whatever it might entail, or maybe they're writing from a fan's perspective or speaking directly to people that are struggling. These are songs that I feel push the envelope and open the conversation further. Because of the fact that the subject matter in this video could get quite intense, and we will be talking about things like suicide, mental health in general, depression, self-harm, all of these other things. This is a trigger warning for you if you do not want to hear about those things or you feel you are not in a place to hear about that right now, then please exit the video now. I will leave resources linked in the description down below for anyone who might need someone to talk to, whether it be you yourself or a friend or anybody that is struggling. Open the conversation, check in on people, and make sure you yourself are allowing yourself to be checked in on it so important. All of the resources, including the Suicide Prevention Hotline, will be linked in the description down below. The first song that I've chosen to feature today is by the UK rock and alternative band Basement. They just released their new album, Beside Myself, and this song, Stigmata, is taken from that. Stigmata might sound a lot like stigma, but they are two very different words. Stigmata often has religious connotations when you discuss it, but stigmata in and of itself refers to a mark of disgrace or something that maybe somebody would look down upon. And I feel like that's also talking about the stigma surrounding mental health, which is being broken down. I feel like the barriers are starting to go away. But on this track, Stigmata, you'll take notice of the lyrics, which open up about the narrator or perhaps the singer's own struggle with depression and anxiety. On the chorus, he says something that's very simple in some ways, but also pretty effective. It feels like falling in the dark is the repeated phrase that we hear on the chorus, and it perhaps might remind you of your own struggle, or for me, I feel like it does. It opens my eyes and ears and heart to other people who are going through similar things, and that's why I wanted to feature this one to open the list, and because I feel like it's a genuinely really, really solid song that has vibes that remind you of like 90s emo, sunny day real estate and also early 2000s Incubus. If you would like to see my full review of the album, I will leave a card at the end of the video. We're born with the dollar sign attached to our tempo. Life is a dish, surf cold most times. And all my life, I've taken handfuls. Force fed by the hand that beats us. But not all hands created equal. Brock Hampton are placing at number six on my list today, perhaps the most popular boy band in the world right now. Their song Weight discusses not necessarily body dysmorphia or anything like that. It's more so referring to the weight, the pressure of fame and other things, the mental health toll that is taken on all of the various members, whether it be self-harm, as is directly mentioned in the song, or other issues like depression, or just as Dom says on this track, one of the members of Brockhampton, his own mother feeling his energy or perhaps his depression, his anxiety from a country away. The multiple beat switch-ups in this song, I feel, are meant to represent the way that the members are being pulled around and don't know exactly how to deal with their newfound fame or exactly just what to do in general. They went through a controversy this year, losing their founding member Amir Van after accusations and allegations of misconduct sexually and in other regards. And I feel that and the newfound pressures of fame really took a toll on the band. And it's nice to see them open up and not just try to cover it up with a song like Wait. Up next, we have British punk rock band Creeper at number five with their song I Choose to Live from their 2017 release Eternity in Your Arms. 
This is a song that kind of broke away from the storyline that had been featured in much of their record. Many of the songs could be taken as being about the whole James Scythe thing that's going on in their music, but listening as an outsider or as a first-time fan, anything like that, you don't really have to know the backstory. Here on a song like this, it seems like Creeper are directly addressing their own current state. Will Gold, the lead singer of the band, obviously, and other people. He's speaking directly to fans when he says, I choose to live these other statements that are leading up to that. There's a huge swell of piano, the strings on the track, everything else just feels like it's propelling towards victory. And that's something that I feel a lot of people will desperately need. Something that's going to tell them and something that is so reassuring and calming. Despite the storm that we've been through, there is life on the other side. We just have to choose to live, to keep going and making it day by day. It's not always easy, but keep up the good fight. Number four has some very deep thoughts going on lyrically, some very deep subject matter. And on the track Ghost by the band Bad Flower, we see the lead singer discussing his own attempts with suicide and the fact that he just wanted somebody to reach out to him, feeling alone. And perhaps not every single thing the singer noted was autobiographical, but still, he went down and wrote from a perspective of what he was truly feeling and just how isolated you can feel sometimes, especially if no one is coming around to check on you and you feel like nobody cares. It's a terrible place to be in, and in this song, you might initially just hear it as a powerhouse rock anthem, but once you dig into the lyrics a little bit deeper, you see exactly what this song is trying to do, and it accomplishes it tenfold. While preparing to make this video, I listened to my number three selection, Heavy by Linkin Park featuring Kiara for the first time in a while, and I quite honestly teared up once again. It's something that's difficult for me to listen to, knowing that lead singer of Linkin Park, Chester Bennington, ended up taking his own life, losing his battle. But that doesn't mean that you have to. And Heavy is a song that talks about mental health and the way that you can drive yourself absolutely up the wall insane. Thinking about all of the things that maybe people are saying about you or all the things you didn't do right or maybe how you just even think people are perceiving you. But it also gives that glimmer of hope saying that even though I feel these things, I'm still holding on even though the weight of the world is so heavy. This is a song that I initially did not care for just because it was a musical departure for Linkin Park and is quite poppy when it comes to the music. It's something that I honestly really started to get a lot more by the time the album released and shortly after Chester passed away, it's something that truly hit home for me. It was like a cry out for help, and there were other subliminal messages and other direct ones throughout Linkin Park's discography where Chester Bennington, I feel, was crying out for help. So once again, I reiterate the message, check on those who even are the most famous, even those who you would never think would need help. Talk like you always know what's best for me, the voices that you're dead. The number two slot today goes to another UK band, Trash Boat. This song is the title track from their recent LP, Crown Shyness, and it is one that is not just your token slow ballad styled song from a pop punk or post hardcore styled album. This is a track that I genuinely felt was so compelling and also so crushing, so sad, but also relatable in many ways. The lead singer paints himself as a tree that is being covered up by this canopy and it's working its way to the top, but it doesn't know how to feel. And the changing of the seasons, the moving of autumn, all of these other things and life's emotions and everything that it can throw at you has got him so bogged down in his own mind. 
He questions what depression even looks like. Do we know? Can we actually personify it? Or is it just this cruel beast that will continue to bring us down? It's something that's so raw, so gutting and honest in so many ways, you cannot help but be drawn to it. And even if you don't struggle with these things yourself, it still remains utterly powerful. This is a song that I highly recommend listening to in full, and I really want you to pay attention to the lyrics because it will hit you like a ton of bricks. Don't get me wrong, the rise in awareness is beating a stigma that no longer scares us. But for sake of discussion and spirit of fairness, could we give this some room for a new point of view? And could it be true that some could be tempted to use this mistake as a form of aggression, a form of succession, a form of a weapon, thinking I'll teach them while I'm refusing to let As our list comes to a close today, we have one final but very impactful song to discuss, and that is Neon Gravestones by the musical duo 21 Pilots from their recent album Trench. This song truly does have so much to say. It has a lot in the narration, and Tyler Joseph, the lead singer, discusses the fact that suicide is often glorified these days, and it's something that should not be. He encourages people to live and to discuss it with maybe your grandparents, maybe somebody who is older, and say, let's celebrate life instead of the ending of life. Let's not romanticize mental health. Let's not romanticize this illness and this depression that could lead somebody to take their own life. Let's change the conversation. I'm so glad, he says, that the stigma is going away. But at the same time, as we do that, are we finding ways to glorify it? And this song plays out over this great piano lead and the fantastic, immaculate even production on this track truly brings out everything Joseph is wanting to say. And the way that it comes across is not preachy. It's in fact just something that everybody needs to hear. It's like when somebody does a slam poetry thing and everybody's jaw drops because that just needed to be said. And that was this moment for 21 Pilots and it's one of the best things they have ever created. Thank you so much for tuning into this video that I wanted to make about seven songs that openly discuss mental health. Let me know any others that you would like to add to the playlist and you can follow along on Spotify at the link in the description. Please drop a like on the video while you're here and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to see last week's episode of 7 on Sunday in case you missed it, then tap this card right here. All of my social media accounts that you see over here can be found linked in the description down below. And other than that, I'll see you very soon for more on Beyond AR TV.